Hi, this is Tommy, and I'm here to talk about the Play What You Hear program, what it really is, how it's done, because uh, we got some questions about it. And there's, uh, you see in the reviews and uh, users how they express themselves, but uh, someone want to know more detailed way what I'm going to teach and how this thing actually works. So I'm going to explain it now. We will have 15 weeks. We meet once a week, three hours online in a live web conference room. It's a link you can uh, click in your web browser. So basically, if you have a browser which works, I think it still needs flash, but you can use a iPad or iPhone. There is a free browsers which support Flash. So you can even watch the sessions if you have an internet connection from your mobile device. But it's best at your home with the good speakers. Or you can do it with headphones also. But we try to listen carefully also. So it, uh, you need to kind of uh, learn a new approach for your music learning. Okay, but uh, I wrote some to the paper, so excuse me, I have to read because a lot of information. I don't want to miss much. Okay, so it's a three hour live session. It's a four 45 minutes uh, lessons back to back. And uh, that uh, web conference room is a kind of platform where I do I show and play and talk about all the topics and then you have kind of write down the questions to the chat and uh, also you can use a webcam as well and show that are you understanding the things kind of right way. It's not mandatory but it's good always to ask questions. So what you can do and you should do is to ask questions. Like, uh, Tommy, I don't know anything what you are talking about. That's uh, already pretty good question. If you, well, you should at least get something out what I'm talking about, but uh, we can go from that because it's, everything is clear from start to finish. This obviously, this program won't make you learn that much, but uh, I guess. Uh, you probably, like all the others, suck pretty badly at first with uh, ear training and uh, how this thing actually works because it's kind of like a new way to learn and uh, it's very interesting to see that it really works and it has brought results. And uh, don't be scared about uh, the word suck because it's good to know where you really are at with your playing and your your progress so far but this course is for beginners also and advanced because the goal is the same but uh, beginners in a, do it a little bit different way than the advanced players have more mechanical abilities but we will I will tell about the program right now yeah, what, what else four minutes yeah I used to suck suck years ago so I expect the same from you but uh, after the course and you maybe have a big smile like I did when I learned this after 20 years okay Let's look then we have a oh by the way the first thing is the three hour live session and then of course sometimes you cannot join the live sessions with you should which you should and then there's a possibility to download a uh, nice mp4 video to your iPad, iPhone or any kind of device and you can watch the video and I will explain you know, the high quality video and the uh, information all the main topics what we did at the live session okay and there's also the third aspect is that uh, there's homework okay you don't have to do any homework if you if everything is easy for you from start to finish and you learn the skill be happy your homework after that is just to listen songs 
and learn them fast and have your own personal touch with the instrument. Do those videos, put to YouTube and maybe have a career as a fingerstyle guitar player. Who knows? Yeah, there's a fretboard map, images and uh, audio exercise files, a little bit listening. What is that note? What is that? Usually it's pretty difficult at first, but it kind of tunes our ears that we are trying and it's so goddamn hard first. But uh, we are tuning our ears to try to listen what is happening. Okay, and also there's uh, written information. Okay. Okay, the next page. Uh, I have two pages. <laughs> Let's yeah. go through the actual things I'm going to teach. I start with the sound and uh, the fretboard logic. Okay, it's uh, very important to know your instrument. Okay, if you have a voice as your instrument, it's also important to know, but we connect our voice. I know that guitar players don't like to sing. Uh, I didn't like to do that also, but uh, believe me, it helps. Even if you don't get to the right frequency, it will help you to get the rhythm right and find the melodies and stuff like that. It's, this is kind of like a transform, transformation to something different you might not have done before. But we take a small steps first. Uh, I haven't seen anyone to get killed or died with doing this, but I've seen many people being very happy after this. Okay? So, don't be scared. Okay? We'll start with the perfect intervals. Okay? If these terms... Uh, don't, uh, you, if you don't understand what they mean, you might understand what all these terms mean and you might know everything I'm going to explain now. But there's one extremely important uh, sentence I use all the time. You know what it is, but you might not know what to do with it. Okay? For example, if you know that uh, each key has a three major and three minor chords, you know those chords and you can technically take them. But can you play a lot of songs out from them? Do you have the knowledge how to do and uh, how to use them? Okay. And many other things. Uh, so, but I will now go the things you will know and know how to use them. Okay. So we navigate with uh, on the guitar as fluently as possible the perfect intervals first. And uh, you can basically create 30 years career as a bass player with these intervals and, uh, and uh, yeah that's the basically the session one so maybe for the bass players I can have a, this ses one session course no just kidding okay don't take it personally bass players have another abilities also and uh, some bass players play chords stuff like that and nice bass lines. So it's a skill, okay? If you want to play the coolest and the greatest instrument, you play the guitar, of course, and a fingerstyle acoustic guitar where you can do everything together. And that's the goal, yeah. And especially after this course, if you are ready for the elite group, and that's, that's a lot of fun. We had it one month now, and I'm extremely excited learning new songs all the time and uh, it's kind of creates that what you are able to do and uh, and it's nice to be honest when we are at the group and someone throws a song and then you're just listening to the song and uh, you you are a teacher you need to figure it out fast otherwise you are not uh, um, believable so after the session two okay there's 15 sessions okay My, i explain couple a little bit slower and the last part a little bit faster so this won't last too long session two is about blues blues is uh everything is basically related to the blues and also that one four five interval structure will help you a lot and that one four five will come in many different ways all the advanced for example you go to relative minor then they could perfect for them perfectly to find the three minor chords Go to the major, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, you find the major chord. And uh, 
kind of works that perfect into all nicely. We're going to talk about a little bit high-end stuff also if you want university level Pythagoras and all that that kind of stuff. So you, when you are having a dinner with your music student friends, you can um, be the hero of the night with all this information. So it's the blues. We look at the basic form and a couple of grooves, how to play the blues. And also listening exercises are, uh, someone asked, is this only ear training? No. Ear training is uh, just a part of the course, of course, very important. But uh, it's a combination of ear training and knowledge. Okay? If you know how these songs are composed. And uh, I like the idea that we create the image like a photo, photograph of certain things which will repeat themselves over and over again. We compare that's happening again and again and again and again and it's a lot of fun it's it's a nice journey to listen all kind of music and see how the music history has built up also how the chord progressions have been going through the history of uh, music recognize the key keys and the single notes uh, listening yeah if we do it it can be very difficult because you're doing a lot of mechanical training with the instrument. All the mechanical things uh, will suddenly seem more easier when you are connected with the instrument, with yourself and maybe with your voice. Then it will be more, more kind of like a personal thing with the instrument, not just a certain kind of a survival game with the mechanical memory or something like that. We learn all the intervals, of course, inside the octave. And we try to go all this boring stuff uh, as quickly as possible. Major scales and uh, pentatonic scales, more like in uh, sound ways than how they sound like. Okay, and uh, what riffs are based with the uh, straight major pentatonic scale or how, uh, how they are done. Okay, triads, which are the we basically have major and minor tonality. The song can start from the major chord or minor chord. It's a good starting point. Then you figure out the key, and then you have certain rules and certain exceptions. But we go through the caged system, which is very used. Basically, all the great players play shape-based. Not all. Some uh, have all these harmonies and stuff like that. Some jazz players. And classical composers, so they compose very like using the voice leading, but but to play popular music and this kind of music, it's a lot of shapes and we use them as a skeletons. If I take a C shape, I can play from that, I can play many things around it, okay? So I can find the melodies using the shape and the chord notes and, uh, and uh, there's many things you can do, arpeggios, many scales. But usually I, I don't like to think about scales that much. It's more like chord related. Uh, scales will help you to harmonize the keys and stuff like that. The K shapes are more like in a useful way, way. Not just I know what is C shape. I know what is A shape. I know what is G shape. Or, and maybe look the partial shapes and look the songs well, the some of the famous guitar riffs, how they are composed and how they're usually... Okay, but to understand how the root third and fifth work and all that kind of stuff. We do a lot of song ear training. We listen, song, and uh, look how it's done. And we tune our ears to listen something important instead of all kind of blah, 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 drums or guitar or singing or something like that. Now, now the important bass guitar player comes, sometimes the piano, the bass, but sometimes there is not the bass. Then you listen to the melody and look the melody notes a little bit and that can lead you to some cool answers. Guitar technique patterns. Guitar techniques are the way to play the music out to you here. And we do more special chords and uh, 
and a bunch of another things during the course but uh, all this information it's kind of like a what I do with this information it's kind of like a it's all it's built up as a seed with a foundation of your playing so it, it's important that you join as much as possible the live sessions because there there we there can some things click and uh, you ha might have a question I might explain something and you might have a question which my answer will lead you to that feeling that yes now the things are getting uh, more understandable this is what uh, the next 15 weeks is going to be it's not the most uh, terrible thing if you miss a couple of lessons because there's uh, those downloadable videos and uh, I'm all also reachable with the email and uh, because the best feeling I get and I've got is from the feedback from people who actually learn so I want you to learn it's a new new journey and uh, hope to see you bye